Alan Hitchett here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. On the last episode, we did some things, and now it's time to do some more things. Like, make our way to another dungeon. Excuse me while I try to get some rupees. We should, at this point in time, have the bow and arrow, but it's expensive. So I'm not going to worry about it. But we want to make our way... Over to some water because we want to jump in the water and give this guy that fishing hook we got from the lady with the broom. Get out of my face. But I just have to find the water first. And the water is somewhere in an easterly area. in an easterly manner not that way this way maybe I don't know I'm not sure we can swim now I know it's down here somewhere I probably should not have jumped into the water but now we can get around a little bit better around Koholit Island because we can swim Where's where I want to be? Here's where I want to be. Now let's see if I can give this guy the thingy. Can I talk to you, dude? Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? You have better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Okay, I guess. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. That dude's beard is huge. My, that's a big one. The the J became a necklace D. L -l -l lucky, okay. Well, that's about all we can do with the the trading sequence now. Hold on, I can do a skill move if I have the rocks feather on. Give me a second. Well, what the freak, dude? There we go. Get out of the water. But not that I want to get out of the water, but if you do that, you can uh, get out of the water. I actually want to be in the water to tell you the truth. No, I want to talk to you. Ah, oh, that's it. That's my necklace. Give it. Give it back. I'll give you a scale, as I said. Give. Oh, I was wrong. You can... I forgot about this part. Promise you'll only take one. We... We can do something with the necklace. Whoops. I was looking for the dungeon. Okay, now we can't do anything with the trading sequence. There's like one more step to the trading sequence and we can't do it just yet. But here's what I was looking for. The dungeon, the catfish's maw. You have to have the flippers to get to it. So you dive at the entrance. And here we go. Level 5, catfish's maw. Slash, 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 slash. Okay, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Don't get hit by the bubble. I didn't even see those. Keys. You stupid Helmosaur dudes. You can only kill them by hitting them from behind until you get the special item. Yeah, yeah, we know what the compass does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're at the point of the game where I don't know the dungeons as well as the the first few. Because I used to, just when I was bored, play the 3DS version on Virtual Console over and over again. The first few dungeons. Just to, because I liked them the most. Darn it! So I know those dungeons really well. But when you get this far... What well, son of a... I don't know him quite as well. 
Apparently, these platforming parts don't like story time. What the butt, dude? That's what we call grade A comedy. Finally, okay, we're out of there. I don't even think I need to come this way yet, to be quite honest. Swordbeam, Stalfos. And we get, well, we don't get anything. Push. Push. And when now we get a key. Now, what's over here? Okay, yeah, I knew we didn't need to come this way yet. This is actually the final area we need to be to get the dungeon item. But there was a key over there, so that's something good. Bee, 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 bee. Now I gotta kill the stupid Helmosaurs again. You can hit it from the side! You serious game? You've never let me hit him from the side before. Oh, see? Now I can't hit him from the side. Oh, maybe I did need to go that way because I needed the key. But we'll have to go back that way. Get out of here, Stalfos. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get friggin' dude. What's this way? These things. I did not mean to go back that way. Oh, stupid! Die, Helmosaur. Get out of my life. Jump! What's in this room? There's nothing in this room! There better be something good in here. Oh, treasure, 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 treasure. Something. In before I get made fun of of not being able to say easy words together, like special mesh. Shut up! Special special message. I got a special message for you. Touch my butt. That's my special message. I can't go this way yet. Let's go this way. Kill the Stalfos. This seashell. Oh my god, now I'm gonna stumble over easy words like seashell. The seash. Oh my god, I can't say seashell sword. Ah! The seashell. Oh my god, why? This sword is amazing. Get out of here, Stalfos. Didn't have bombs out. This is the mini boss of this dungeon. Ow. You hit him with a sword. And bomb him. Hit him with a sword. And bomb him. Arg! I can't beat you. I'm out of here. You actually have to fight that dude four times. And each time, each room you fight him in, there's a block in the corner. So there's this one block here. Next time there'll be a room with two blocks with one over here. And then three. And the one you saw me go to at the beginning was actually the one with four. Ooh, a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. I've got what's inside the box. Come and get it if you can. Master Stalfos. So yes. The, the mini boss of this dungeon has the item. Now here we go to the part of the game where I don't actually know what the F I'm doing. I know I want to come this way. Dog blang dang ding a dang ding a dang stupid McPoopin. I know I want to come this way for some reason. Can I do this part yet? I know this is where the, the boss key is. Why are these stupid tech type things hitting me? I know this is where the nightmare key is, but I don't remember if I can get it yet. I'm gonna be go down go on a limb and say that I can't get it yet. But I'm gonna check. Oh brr! I knew it. 
We need the dungeon item. My nose is running, but that's okay. I don't know why. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. Okay, up. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's pick some of this stuff up. Can I actually push? No, but I can the other way. If I would have come the other way, I would have been able to push the blocks to get to this part of the area. It would be really good if I could jump. But I don't feel like putting the rock's feather on. So let's go this way. It opens that. But I want to go this way. Oh, well, I got to put it on now. Jump. Smack. 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 Where's room two at? At this point, I can't remember. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's over here. Nope, that's room three. Room two is actually where we needed to go. And I think room two is down this way. Oh, the door's open already. Why'd the button come back up? Oh, okay, here's room two. Oh, man. That's one thing I hate is item swapping. You do it all the time. There should have been like a hot swap button like Mega Man has. Or some Mega Man games have. But that would be weird. How would you swap? There's B and A. I guess that's why. Arg! I can't beat you! I'm out of here. But we know where room 3 is. And we know where room 4 is. So that's going to be good. Let's go up. Why do I keep trying to push the button, dude? My brain's all over the place this morning. Da -da 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 -da. Here's a story. Of, uh... Okay, I'm done. I'm not going to sing. I only humiliate myself like that at streams. Wait a minute. Oh, now I gotta walk all the way back around. I wasn't thinking. Oh my gosh. Even with this blue tunic, I'm still getting pretty hurt. That's ridiculous. What the? Thank you. I'll take that. Get out of here. Back in the room. Stalfos. Bombs, because I forgot to put them back on. Boom. Had some big boom booms the other day. Boom. Arg, I can't be you. I'm out of here. And now I know where he goes. We need to go back to the beginning, which I will do momentarily with ease after I collect my reward for this area. At last, you got the map. You can press the start mode to look at it. No, I don't want to. Okay, put this on. Now, if we play Monbo's Monbo, we can go back to the beginning of the stage. Yes. Yes. Because the fourth room is near the beginning of the stage. Soon we will have an item that will help us beat these Helmosaurs with relative ease. Ooh, a piece of power. And a guardian acorn. The choices. Oh, wait. That's not a choice. Okay, let's go this way. I don't even care about those helmet swords. You don't have to fight them. Got to put the rock's feather back on because here we come with more platforming. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. And if I sneeze, then you will laugh. But I think I can contain myself. Back in this room. I don't need to worry about this room. Or get hit. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, da -da 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 okay, here we go. Hit down. Get down. Give me the item. And he's dead.
And we get the best item in the game. You've got the hook shot. Its chain stretches long when you use it. It's actually so good that I'm going to put the rock's feather on and just have the hook shot on. But I don't know why I said that because I need to use Monbo's Monbo to get back to the beginning of the stage again. Remember that it's a useful, useful little feature there to be able to use Monbo's Monbo to get back to the beginning of a stage. Use it and use it often. Well, don't use it often if you don't have to. But now we can kill these Helmosaurs by ripping their faces off. Hookshot's pretty powerful. And now we can use it to get to things. Like this rupee box. And now we've maxed our rupees out so we can get the bow and arrow after this dungeon. Okay, now I need to go get the boss key, but I got to get all of these treasure chests off the map first. What's weird is the boss key actually doesn't appear on the map. So you could that's why every time I play this dungeon, I think I have it beat, but then I remember I don't have the boss key. Well, I don't know why I'm doing it that way. You hook shot Hook shot. You got a small key. I have yet to pull one of these dudes' faces off, I don't think. Okay, let's get out of here. Back up here. Pull. Now we can use this to pull this this way. What's under this pot? I'm curious. A fairy. Ouch! Was it worth it, Link? Was it worth it? Being a buffoon. What's this way? I'm not sure if I want to go this way. I think I need to come... Oh, man. I guess I will go this way. Oh, here we have another mini-boss. It's Goma. You're supposed to... Well, I, I would assume the game wants you to have the bow and arrow to fight Goma. But you don't need uh, the bow and arrow. You've got the hook shot. When they shake, they dash. When they stop, they're going to attack. So when they stop and move and stay perfectly still, get ready to hammer their eyes. When they stop and shake, move because they're going to attack. Stop it. Stop. I want to hit you. So that's one Goma. Heart. Okay, now let's kill Goma too. Stop hitting me. I just want to impale your eye with my hooky thing. And they don't drop fairies. They only drop one single heart apiece. But now we can get back to the beginning. What is this way? I am not sure. I think this is the way to the boss. I'm actually not ready to do this. Mambo's Mambo again. Yeah. Now we can use that to take us back to the boss door, which I will probably be using. But right now, I want to put the jumper back on. Kill all these dudes. I don't even need to hit this again. The hook shot can't break through these crystals though, so watch out for that. But they kill prep practically everything in one hit. What's left to get? Some more items up this way. So let's go. What's here? Up oh, one more screen. Wait, there's something. I need to hit this switch again is what I need to do. Push. Hit. And go back through that way. Here we go. Grab. It's probably just rupees. But I'm not leaving this dungeon without collecting everything. What else is here? Over this way. This is a key. Open a locked door. This way. 
up this way, pull the bridge our way, get more rupees, but my rupees are maxed out. Not much left, folks. Now, just because you have all the treasures on the screen doesn't mean you're done. Don't forget to get that boss key like I always seem to forget. It's in the water over here. How you're supposed to figure that out, I don't know. Probably a stone beat. I mean, a, the stone owl statue somewhere. I don't bother talking to them, but I'm pretty sure that's probably what tells you. Man, swimming is so slow. Yes, there it is, and it makes the key noise. Pull. You've got the Nightmare's key. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's lair. Now it's time to do a warp, a lot of warping. So I'm going to put my sword back on, though, because we'll need it. So now let's warp back to the beginning of the stage. Dun 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 Use this to warp back to where Goma was. And now we can continue on with the area. Put the hook shot on now. Because we're gonna need the sword and the hook shot for the boss. Now let's hook shot to these Bowser heads. Squash. Oh man. We don't we're not ready for the hook shot. I mean the sword yet. Because we've got to be able to jump. We eat that. Hook shot to the Bowser heads. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, how do I do this room? Open. Hook shot. Yes. Okay, now we can put everything on. Boss. So, you are the outsider. Come to wake the windfish. Kee I shall eat you. Is this thing some sort of snake or something? I don't know, but his tail comes out. And he busts four holes in the wall. So his tail goes either clockwise or counterclockwise. You want to run around so it doesn't hit you. And wait for his face to pop up out of a wall. You want to be in front of the right one so you can hook shot it out of the hole. And then slap it with your sword. Freaking A, I hit the wrong button. Uh, I shot the wrong way. I'm just going to stand in one spot and take the hits like a man. And pull it out. And once you pull it out once, it starts going the opposite direction of where you were. Now it's going to go the other way again. So I'm just going to stand here and wait for its tail to go around. And for the face to pop up on my side. Because I'm not going to go to it. But it looks like it's not going to come to me either. Yes it is. I hit the wrong button again. Oh, come on. At this point, it would probably already be dead if I had the red tunic. Disk, disk. You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. Kee hee hee. What a fool. Kee hee hee. I'm just going to stand here so I'll grab the heart container when you blow up. Doop, 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 doop. And let's get this thing. What is this? Is this a flute? You've got the wind, Marimba. I don't even know what a Marimba is. I'm going to have to Google that. So much beautiful music in this game. Shrine, an island secret in the shrine. So that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. I'm Alan Edgehead, and I'll see you next time.